Hey guys, so today, as you can see, I have done more work on the Nixie Tube watch. In fact, we've gotten it into a watch form. As you can see, it's incredibly thick. I mean, this thing is, um, it's a, it's a brick, but I mean, you, you have to, um, understand that, you know, wearing glass tubes like this on your wrist is just not practical. That's not what the point of this was, was in the first place. But, as I mentioned in the last video, I do have it semi-working. Right now, all it does is display a 9. Unfortunately, the camera is freaking out. You can't really see it. Um, and you turn it on, you can see that the first tube lights up. And in person, you can see that it's a 9. Unfortunately, like I said, the camera doesn't like it. Um, and the other tube does work as well, but I don't have the second shift register in. And um, just to give you a quick look, we have the uh, real-time clock module, um, which is just basically an IC on a riser board with a backup battery underneath. Um, of course, we have the main microcontroller that controls everything, including the boost converter, um, which is basically just this MOSFET, uh, an inductor, and um, a bunch of capacitors that are down in there. Uh, I mean, other than that, it's it's really impractical, but this wasn't meant to be practical. I mean, let's be honest. Anybody who wants a Nixitude watch understands they're not practical. Um, I think the, the logo on the back turned out pretty well, though. Um, Oh, by the way, as you can see, this looks very burned. That's because it is. So, I don't know if you guys know, if you watch any of my other videos, you may have noticed this, but as you can kind of see, um, my print bed, because I'm using a sheet of PCB instead of, like, um, hairspray or whatever else to keep it down, um, it leaves these dimple marks on the back of the prints, and that is basically, like, putting, like, 20 grit sandpaper on your wrist. So, what I did is I just took my soldering iron, and I passed it over it and melted it down so now it's nice and smooth and it's considerably more comfortable. Um, by the way, this is Blue Ninja Flex if you're interested to know. Um, the only issue is this stuff doesn't breathe at all. I've already worn this a couple of times, even though it doesn't work yet. Yes, I know. Um, and it gets, having it on even just with one digit lit up, even just for a couple of minutes, the thing, it just, the back of this starts getting a little warm from from the battery because this draws so much power um, and it's just like the greenhouse effect this stuff doesn't breathe at all and it just it gets really uncomfortable to wear after a little while plus the thing is huge so that doesn't help its case but it's really not the fact that it's huge that makes it uncomfortable like I said it's just the material and it may just be that that bothers me it may not bother anyone else but um, I'm the only one that's going to be wearing this, so I guess that's all that matters. Um, the only thing that I didn't make on this is this um, clasp, which is actually from a broken watch that I had laying around. Um, I might make my own, but this seems to fit, and it, and it looks, looks all right, and doesn't look too out of place, so I might just leave it. So I also put uh, Mutech on the strap. But, I mean, that's about it for now. I will definitely do an update video once I've gotten this finished, and it's actually working electrically. It's pretty much done. It's just software-wise. That's going to be a whole other can of worms, but it shouldn't be that hard, I hope. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed taking a quick look at this. There will be another update video when I have it finally done. But uh, that's about all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a very nice day.